Hello everyone and welcome to episode 9 of 9 in 9 with Nottingham Forest. Today we have the final game in the championship season before we head into the playoffs. Lots still to sort out. Who will win the title? Who will end up in the playoffs and who will take up that last relegation spot? Let's find out together, shall we? Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, to please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also, don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's dive into the two results we've had since we were last together. So, following the win over Stoke last time around, the link is up the top for that one. We easily dispatched Sheffield Wednesday, and it should have been a lot more than three. We had two goals disallowed. They missed a penalty, Jack Rolls, with that as we saw off Sheffield Wednesday by three goals to nil. Then last time out, we beat Cardiff City by four goals to one. Surridge, Yates and G and Carlham Grant with our goals. Wes Harding with the reply for relegation threatened Cardiff. So here is the league table. There is still plenty of stuff to sort out. We'll take a look at the fixtures that are happening today in a second. But we are in the playoffs. 78 points from 45 games played. We cannot be caught by the sides below Brentford. They are the sides that are most vulnerable to an attack from Bristol City and from QPR as they look to squeeze their way in, although they need a big goal swing for it to happen. The top three is all sorted. Luton Town's prospect of automatic promotion has gone. It's between Middlesbrough, Watford and West Ham for that prize. We have the chance to potentially stop Watford getting automatic promotion today if we can beat them. Down at the bottom, there is a huge game between Cardiff and Barnsley. One of those sides will be dropping into League One. The rest of the sides are safe. Let's look at the fixtures for today. So there is that huge game at the Cardiff City Stadium. Cardiff against Barnsley. What a match that's going to be. West Ham take on West Brom. We take on Watford, obviously. Middlesbrough take on Huddersfield. Brentford have got Coventry. QPR have got Hull. Bristol City have got Preston, so they're all playing sides 18th, 19th and 20th. Luton take on Stoke, Derby and Ipswich meet at Pride Park, Swansea versus Sunderland, Sheffield Wednesday versus Blackburn and Reading versus Charlton. Let's take a look at the teams for our game with Watford. So here are the two starting lineups for this one. Sanchez starts in goal for Watford, Stanisic, Friedel, Clark, Ferres, Cook, Longstaff, Garner, Aspria. Rosetto with Zuri up front. We start with gun and goal. Worrell, Bogard, Gibson, Ratty, Neva, Reed, Kilkenny, Lookman, Cantwell with Sam Surridge leading the line. So there won't be a repeat of last season's playoff semi final. Obviously, if Watford beat us, they go up. If we beat them, we can't meet them in the playoffs because it would be third versus sixth in the playoffs and fourth against fifth as it normally is. So Watford. Looking to get automatic promotion. Obviously, we'll keep an eye on everything else that's happening today. It's going to be a big day down at the bottom as well. Paquetto with the ball. Going into Ferez. Coming into the penalty area in the pouring rain. Garner with the shot. It's blocked behind. I think it's come with the save instead. I thought I had to defend himself. Obviously, we're just trying to set ourselves up nicely for the playoffs now. No Ryan Yates today on a yellow card. Gibson. Looking for Surridge in behind. Great ball in. Can he get a shot away? He can, but Sanchez tips it over the bar. Reed with the corner. Anyone going to attack it? Towards the back post. Oh, Sanchez gets his hands to it for a kick. It's going to be Cook to play it in. Aspria on the edge of the box. Camel takes it away from him. Tries to look long, but Aspria picks it up. Not sure why he didn't just walk away from him and then try and clear it down the field. Garner playing in to Aspria. Going back into Ferres. We'll try and block them if we can. Cook goes back into Ferres again. Cruchetto. Cook again. Into Ziga. Through to Paquetto. Oh, will he get a shot away? He's got the angle. Angus Gunn turns it around the post. That was far too easy, though. Far too easy. Corner to Watford. Cook with it. Swings it in towards the back post. Worrell heads it away. Hasn't really started yet. We've had a good chance, but Watford have had the better of the first 10 minutes. Garner goes into Clark. Good tackle. Kilkenny always giving it back to him. Will he get a shot away this time? This time he'll put it in the bottom corner. That has been coming. Watford lead on the day they could go back to the Premier League. That gives us some work to do from here. 
And this is a good tackle from Kilkenny, but he rolls it straight through to Pashito. He ain't going to miss that, is he? Lovely finish beyond Daniel Scun. A bit of encouragement on the field. Come on, boys. Look lively. Ball down the right-hand side. Ratty with it. Into the area for Sanchez. To catch it. Superman. Robert Sanchez. Long start. Looking for Aspria. Can't get away from the defender. Gibson is following him across the pitch. Garner. Going to leave a massive hole if he does. Ziegler with the shot. Good save from Gump. Sanatic. Into Friedel. Longstaff. Zaguru looking over the top for Pushito. Can he get away? Oh, he almost did. Zaguru with the shot. Saved by Angus Gunn. Dell knocking it away, but giving it straight to Lookman. Can he do anything with it? Ratty. Coming down that right-hand side. Gets the ball into the centre. Surridge doesn't rise. Kilkenny plays it to him, though. Plays it into Lookman. Lookman with a shot. It's off the post. And have they got it clear? Very calmly. They still haven't got rid of it, though. They're still knocking it around in the penalty area. They're toying with us now. Campbell's on a 6.3. He's going to come off at half-time if that doesn't improve in the next 10 minutes. Gone down to a 6.2. He's definitely coming off at half-time at this point. Perez with the ball into the centre. Where he heads it away. Stanisic trying to get on the end of it. Cook into Longstaff. Stanisic again. Trying to get away from Surridge. Friedel. Looking into Zigru. He's in behind Pochetto again. Will he finish this one? It's a good save from Angus Gunn. He's offside anyway. He should have put it in the bottom corner regardless. Gibson. Throws it into Campwell. Last chance to save yourself, Todd. Gibson looking in for Campwell. When he gets a shot away from the angle, it's behind for a corner. Reed with the corner. In towards the centre. Clark heads it away. Cook will pick it up for Watford. He's got nobody in front of him. He's going to have to wait for support. I think we're going to quell it out before we even get to that point, are we? Now they're going to go cross field to Ghana. Just allowed them to play it out. I'm very happy at the moment. And that is half time. Watford 1, Nottingham Forest 0. Didn't really even. But we just haven't tested their goalkeeper enough. Sanchez has had saves to make, but he's just been catching, really. So Todd Cantwell hasn't saved himself. Colin Grant is going to come on at half time. We're going to have a little bit of a go at them, I think, at half time as well. Maybe not. Hands on hips. We've been the better team. Doc Campbell seems demoted. He's off anyway. Doesn't matter. Second half on the way. Come on, boys. Not seen much flash up. We will take a look at the end of what happens. Game between Cardiff and Barnes, and that's going to be huge for one of those sides to stay up. Grant into Surridge. Looking for Grant again. He's already done more than Todd Campbell's done in about 30 seconds. Neither with the ball to the back post. Ferris heads it away. Ferris with the throw. Throws it into Cook. There is again, into Garner. Cook again, trying to swing it over, but it's been blocked away. Garner picks it up. Plays it into Cook. Long staff. Through to Stanic. Good shot. Good over the bar. Not having much joy down that right-hand side as well. So we're going to bring Sergio Canos on, on that right-hand side. Mr. Versatility. There is with the throw. Throws it into Clark. Chetto. Into Garner, looking through to Longstaff. There is a gaping hole, and he has found the back of the net as well. Good finish from Stone Longstaff. Watford lead by two goals to nil. That's probably them promoted to the Premier League. We, of course, are settling for the playoffs, but we're not setting ourselves up nicely for it, are we? We have gone down with a bit of a whimper so far today. Pachetto with the ball to Garner. Pings a pass through to Longstaff. Takes a shot from distance. Angus Gunn, not ready. 2-0 into the final 10 minutes. We've got one more substitution to make. I think we're going to take off Kilkenny and we're going to risk Ryan Yates' his yellow card. See what happens there. If he gets booked, obviously, he misses the first leg of the semi-finals. How much trouble can he get in in five minutes left? Let's be fair. See with the throw. Throws it on to Canos. Commentary lead Brentford by two goals to nil. That could mean that Brentford miss out on the playoffs altogether. Ratty with the ball to the back post. Callum Grant heads towards goal and it's in the back of the net. Grab the ball. 2-1. Three minutes of normal time to play plus added time. Could it be squeaky bum time for Watford? Ball to the back post. Headed in by Callum Grant. What we're going to do, we're going to go on to attacking. That's what we're going to do. We're going to push. Are we going to catch them out? That goal had happened 10 minutes earlier. We might have been in business. He might still be in business. Neither. With the ball down the left-hand side. 
making his way towards the penalty area. Got to find a cross into the centre. Eluded everybody. Ratty picks it up. Is there going to be late drama at Vicarage Road? The free kick. No, it's all over. Watford 2, Nottingham Forest 1. Watford have been promoted to the Premier League. Congratulations to them. Let's see the rest of the results from the final day of the championship season. So the big one to point out, first and foremost, Cardiff had a shocker on the final day. Two sendings off and they were beaten by a goal to nil. So Cardiff have been relegated to League One. Wow. Barnsley survive again. I think they survived last season on the final day. QPR missed out on the playoffs. They were beaten comfortably by Hull City, as did Bristol City. They missed out as well. They drew with Preston. So Coventry's win over Brentford didn't cost them a place in the playoffs. They will take on Middlesbrough in the semi-finals. It's Luton for us. They lost 2-0 to Stoke on the final day. West Ham promoted back to the Premier League with what? So there it is in black and white. Nottingham Forest will take on Luton Town for the right to play Brentford or Middlesbrough at Wembley. And that will be a double header. We will play both playoff semi-finals against Luton to find out who is going to take on Brentford or Middlesbrough under the arch at Wembley. The Luton missing out on automatic promotion. They will fancy their chances, although they have had a bit of a poor run towards the end of the season. Obviously, we lost on the final day, but that's only the third time we've lost since I took over in December. It's going to be a fascinating semi-final, that one, as is Brentford versus Middlesbrough. Obviously, Brentford squeaking in at the last minute. Middlesbrough missing out on automatic promotion. Will that hamper them getting back to the Premier League? It's going to be a fascinating set of playoffs. So join me next time for that. Don't forget if you enjoyed today's video to please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.